What is now very specific to crypto, and this, this changes the complete story, is we're not interested in fields per se, but we're interested in crypto. We almost always need finite sets in cryptography this is a general statement almost always you want to deal with a finite set of numbers okay so you don't want to have infinite many but you want to have for instance in AES believe it or not you want to do computation in a set with exactly 256 elements okay we want to do mathematics in a set with 256 elements, okay? Which are fewer elements than there are in, in the real numbers, obviously, right? In the real numbers, you have many, many elements, many, many numbers. In cryptography, we want to have these things. How can I compute with 256 elements, okay? So the goal now is, you know, we had this funny rules, you know, the th uh, uh, all the rules that the field has to fulfill here. And now we want to have a finite number of elements that fulfills that, okay? And there's a very weird, very weird um, existence theorem, theorem of existence, okay? When, and, and what, what are the, the, the conditions to construct a finite field, okay? And there's, this is, um, this is theorem Deutsche Nummer ist das 431, ne? 431, 4.3.1. Okay, what the theorem tells us is finite fields FF only exist if they have p to the m elements. This is a very strange statement, okay? And I give you a few examples what that is, what, 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 what that means. Example. First example is we could say there is there is a finite field with eleven elements and we have a name for that, we call that GF eleven, Galois field eleven. Okay? And why is that? Because, what, what is P and M? I should have, should have um, explained that, sorry. So P is prime, is primzahl. P, P is primzahl. And M is a positive integer. Okay, so this is... And 11 is... 11 to the 1, right? P is 11, M is 1, so this is fine. So now it's getting interesting. Okay, so this was following this really stupid, simple expression, right? Now it's getting a little bit interesting. We look at some, we looked at one extreme case is 11, means we, we picked the smallest possible M, which is 1, okay? And now there's a very simple question, but I want to have a good answer from you. What is the smallest possible prime that we can choose? What is the smallest possible value for P? Two. The smallest prime number is two, okay? So, and there, it turns out that these are super, super, super important fields in, uh, for, uh, in practice, not mathematically speaking. There is a finite field with 256 elements, which is denoted as GF256, or 
and that's the notation that we prefer in this course here, GF2 to the 8. Remark, this is the This is the AS field. Okay, that's a name I invented. So this is a finite field. This is the Galois field. This is the Galois field that's being used in your web browser, whether you like it or not. Okay, it's built in. There's arithmetic. There's small. There's a library for arithmetic for computation, and this finite field is part of your web browser. Okay. 